If you work in an office all day, this is something you need to know. Now, blue light and being indoors all day can actually slow down your mitochondrial function, but there is an antidote. Now, Dr. Glenn Jeffrey's research at University College London has shown that our mitochondria, the parts of our cells that make energy and water, actually depend on red and infrared light to work properly. The problem is that most office and indoor lights are mostly blue light, which your body reads as daytime, but without any of the wavelengths that repair your cells, which are red and infrared. Over time, that kind of light environment can make you more tired, inflamed, and even less insulin sensitive. But here's the cool part. Dr. Jeffrey found that when you get red and infrared light in the morning, you can precondition your mitochondria. That means your cells become more resilient for the rest of the day, and your blood sugar response to food actually improves. But being indoors under artificial light without that preconditioning gives you worse blood sugar outcomes. Now, the easiest way to get this is going to be stepping outside at sunrise. Those first few minutes of sunlight are loaded with red and infrared wavelengths that charge your mitochondria for the day ahead. If you can't get outside, and I always recommend that you do, Red light therapy can help, and I've linked a few that I use personally in my bio, but the sunrise is free, powerful, and really built for your biology. Now, if you spend your day under office lights and you want to protect your metabolism and your mitochondria, comment or DM the word office, and I'll send you my article on how to offset your whole office environment and make your mitochondria more resilient. And don't forget to download my circadian app so you can see exactly when sunrise light happens for you, where you live, and start building this simple habit now.